Hello, Gina, you were the first person to comment. Hello, Sandra, hello from Michigan. Tanya, happy Sunday. Thank you guys, you make me feel so much better. So I don't go live a lot on YouTube and I am gonna start going live more if you like this, by the way. I wanna connect with you more and I really want us to grow together. Um, who else we got? Socorro, Ronald, Bart uh, from Salem County, yeah, yeah. Uh, Linda, Derek, lifelong learner, hello, Deontre, V, Sandra, you guys are, oh, you, you, Angela K, hello from Nigeria Falls, Canada. I've been wanting to go to Canada. Oh my God, it's literally on my list. Um, let's see, your Austin, was it my birthday recently? No, my birthday's not until November. My birthday's on November 26th, by the way, so it's coming up, but thank you for asking. Um, let's see here, Glam Nails, you're asking, how do you get rid of ringing in the ears? I'm so glad you asked that, it's actually because this, this topic is literally on my list of uh, videos to do. I have a video on what causes ringing in the ears. So there's a number of things that can cause it, medications, loud noises, underlying medical conditions, so many other things. Getting rid of it can be really, really tough. And sometimes, I mean, you certainly need to be evaluated by an ear, nose, and throat doctor to understand what type of hearing, if you have hearing loss, what's going on. Um, and sometimes we can fix buzzing in the ears, but sometimes we can't. So stay tuned for a video on that. I'm really glad that you asked. But what I would say is that glam nails, first thing you should do is to see your doctor, make sure you see an ear, nose, and throat doctor so you can get properly evaluated for that. That's the first step. Sharon, girl in the world. Stephanie, Nancy, hello. Black Knight 88, you're here from Florida. Hello in Florida. I don't know, were you affected by the hurricanes at all recently? I hope that you weren't. Um, so, so, so tragic. Uh, let us know, by the way, um, if you were, so we can send your prayers. Um, Gina, is there a way to decrease chronic inflammation in your body? Okay, so chronic inflammation is something that many influencers talk about generally like that, like chronic inflammation. When we doctors think about inflammation, we think really more specifically about what organ or body system is going on. So what I, what I, what I, what I really need is like, there's not like a blanket way that you can like lower inflammation in your body. There is, however, ways that you can decrease inflammation in certain parts of your body, deal with inflammation in certain parts of your body, etc. So definitely would want you to be more specific about that. It's a great question though. Um, menopause hair loss. Um, certainly people, I have had patients that lose um, hair during menopause. Honey child, I love, <laughs> love your screen name. Honey child, yes child, yes honey child. Um, yeah, hair loss can happen in menopause because remember there's a lot of hormonal changes, estrogen decreases, so much else happens. So one thing that I recommend is seeing your dermatologist, but yes, uh, the other reason to see your dermatologist is because hair loss could be because of menopause, but it could be because of something else. And you don't want to miss the something else if that's the case. So make sure you do that. Okay. Um, Cleon, you're from Zambia. I love it. Sandra. Hello. Coretta, Jackson, Mississippi. I love it. Um, Shibdas, you're saying, how much do you earn as a family medicine doctor? That's a great question. And I actually thought about doing a video on like what doctors earn. Let me know if you guys would be interested in this. What I can tell you as a whole is that primary care physicians, that is family medicine doctors, internal medicine doctors, pediatricians, we tend to earn much less than most other doctors. Um, some of the reasons why is we just don't get reimbursed by the insurance companies the same way. We don't always do the same number of procedures like as a surgeon, et cetera, things like that. But we are generally the lower paid specialties of the different doctors. What I will also say is that depending on where you practice in the country, like as a family doctor who practices in New Jersey, I make far less than what I would make if I work, like I'm from the state of Iowa. If I had a family doctor job in Iowa, I could potentially make double what I'm making now. It's that big of a difference based on geography. Like geography plays that big of a role. So it's an excellent question. Let me know if you want me to do a video on doctor salaries because I think it's I think it's important. Um, Marilyn Murphy, you say, how do I get rid of an, and then you don't say what it is. Let me know what it is you're trying to get rid of. Okay, Gail, you think I'm wonderful? Well, that's sweet of you. Um, Voluta42 from the UK, hello. Sharon, how do I get rid of a constant cough I have from taking high blood pressure medicines? That's a great question. I have a video on meta blood pressure medicines that can cause high um, a cough. First thing you wanna know is if the cough really is from the blood pressure medicine. Cough can be from other things. It can be from acid reflux. It can be from allergies. It can be from cancer. It can be from other things. First thing you gotta do is you gotta see your doctor because yeah, your uh, cough could be from your medicines, but your cough doesn't have to be from your medicines, okay? 
if your doctor determines that your cough is from your medicine, what they may choose to do is to stop it, change it, whatever. But whatever changes happen need to happen under the guise of your doctor. So just keep that in mind that don't make assumptions about what your cough is due to. Um, asthma can cause a cough. I know. Asthma can cause, like weird things can cause, like stuff that you would never imagine can cause a cough. That's why you want to know really what's going on. Coretta, how can you get rid of vaginal itching? Great question. Vaginal itching, the thing, and I'm sorry, I keep doing this with my nose. I know this is probably gross, but like, I feel like I have this drip. I get like a little drip in my nose often. I don't know. Um, it might be due to nerves because I was a little nervous coming live because I never come live on YouTube. I don't know. Should I do it more? Um, vaginal itching. Depends on why you're itching down there. Sometimes we get vaginal itching, itching because there is an infection. If it's an infection, it has to be treated. Sometimes we can get itching because there's like eczema or like a skin condition. If so, that needs to be treated. Sometimes we get itching because there's like precancerous lesions. If so, that needs to be treated. See what I'm saying? Vaginal itching, you got to figure out why you're itching. And that's a trip to your GYN doctor, okay? And then, and sometimes we're itching down there, like if you're in menopause or perimenopause, the decrease in estrogen, the vaginal dryness can cause itching or whatever, then it's like a matter of moisturizing. But you can assume why you're itching, okay? Because the reason why you're itching would be the cause. All right, um, Melissa, you've got gastroparesis. What are some healthy foods you can eat? I don't know if it's about healthy foods because the healthy foods... Like the healthy foods are the same. The question is what you're able to tolerate. And I think that's something you gotta work with your doctor for because some people are gonna be able to tolerate some healthy foods with gastroparesis better than others. So I don't know that there's one specific answer to that. Um, Danette, have I heard of acid reflux spasms? I haven't, I have not. Interesting. Girl in the world, sleep apnea. Tell me what your question is about sleep apnea. That's a really important condition. By the way, I have videos on sleep apnea. Make sure you check those out. Oh, and you're from Gambia as well. Thank you. Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, Chris, if a man messes with multiple women, women what do I say? Granny Love, anti-phospholicid antibody syndrome. It's a autoimmune condition. I have to look. I'd have to look that up more before I talk about it. Joyce, how come I'm having bleeding like a period? Left me. I was 53. Now I'm 63, and it comes. Dude, listen. Any woman who has bleeding, vaginal bleeding, after they went through menopause or stopped having periods, you've got to see your gynecologist ASAP. Listen to me. If you stopped having periods, you should never bleed. If you bleed, have vaginal bleeding, cancer has to be ruled out. See your doctor. Period. End of story. Go see them ASAP. By the way, I also need to say... I am not your doctors, so this is not intended to be medical life. See your doctor. Don't play around with that. Um, Gina, your hematologist said your plate, your blood work indicated chronic inflammation, low platelets. Yeah, I don't know. That's still very vague. But I'm sorry that you have osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, and fibromyalgia. I'm sorry about that. Um, Iris, you have lower back and neck pain on a frequent basis, over-the-counter meds don't work. Any suggestions? Okay, as always, I always say, first of all, get a, a diagnosis for your pain. Make sure you know why you're having the pain. You never know. The pain may not, the pain could be caused by some underlying issue that's not being dealt with. What I would also say is see your doctor for your pain because if it's say just, not just, but like if it's like arthritis, there are many things we can do for arthritis, including like, you know, physical therapy and aqua therapy and so many other things. The biggest thing is, and one, one thing I want to let you guys know, and again, this is not medical advice, this is telling you how to approach these things, which is if you have something that's not going away with what you're trying, that's always a sign to see your doctor, even if not before then, to be honest with you, okay? Uh, girl in the world, does snoring always mean you have sleep apnea? No, it does not always mean you have sleep apnea. Some people just have a primary snoring disorder and they don't have sleep apnea. The only way to know is to get tested. Lifelong learner, you have one thumbnail that about a third of it is really white. Is it from an injury? I don't know. I really don't. See, see a dermatologist about that, because I really don't know. Um, Austin, do I have an opinion on euthanasia? Right now, I actually don't. That's a good question. I have to think about that. I, I really would. It's a good question. 
Uh, Miss Duval, can fibroids go away without having a hysterectomy? Um, I'm going to leave that one to the GYNs. You mean, can they be removed in different ways or dealt with? There are different procedures. Hysterectomy is not the only procedure to deal with fibroids, if that's what you're asking. All right. Lisa Mallory, hello from New Jersey. Well, hello right back at you. Um, a day of silence. Oh, I like that. A day of silence. That's your name. Uh, how do you get rid of edema in the legs? Your wife has tried compression socks, not working. Pharmacist says edema because of nifedipine. So um, some medications can cause swelling. Got to see your doctor because if, it's, if medicines are causing the swelling, your doctor may choose to just change the medicine. However, uh, swelling in the legs can be caused by other things. So you want to know what it is. Sometimes heart failure causes swelling in the legs. So you want to know what's going on. You, wanna, you just want to know. Sometimes the veins aren't working, right? So the treatment depends on the underlying issue. That's why I always say see your doctor. You guys might be like, oh my God, she never tells us the answers. Well, it's because the answer depends on what the cause is. That's why a lot of these influencers online who are telling people how to fix stuff are usually misguided and wrong and not telling things the right way because the way to get rid of a cough, the way to get rid of, um, you know, this, that, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, depends on the cause for many, many, many things, okay? But if the swelling is due to, say, veins that are not working well, compression hose can work, uh, sometimes elevation of the legs, low salt diet, etc. But again, you got to find the cause. Um, Carolyn, can Ozempic cause stomach problems? Yes, it can. It doesn't cause it in everyone, but yes, it can. Ralph, you, Rafa, you just came to watch the live? Well, thank you. By the way, guys, have you subscribed to my channel? If you haven't, can you please hit the subscribe button? Please? Pretty please? Can you like this? <laughs> I know someone likes that. I'm like, I'm like, please, can you like this live? Please <laughs> comment. It helps me. All right. Wanda, you had carpal tunnel surgery. How long do the fingers continue to hurt? That's a great question. I don't know. I really actually don't know. I think it would depend on a lot, number of different things. Check in with your surgeon. Like you probably have to have a post-op follow-up. If you have already had it, still contact your surgeon and ask. If you have not had your post-op follow-up, make sure you schedule that and ask this question. It's a really good one. How do I stop recurring, Linda, cold sores on my lip and prolonged use of Valtrec? This have been to many New York City doctors. Nobody's been able to help. It's mm, a really interesting question. Do you know for sure that they're cold sores? I would just, I mean, if you've been to a lot of doctors, I'm sure somebody has just made sure that they're cold sores. That would be one thing I would say. Um, Muriel, tingling at the bottom of your feet since COVID. Pains, okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Check with your doctor because it could be like a long COVID situation, but it doesn't have to be, okay? Lisa, is it common to get a UTI after not having sex for a while? It's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Uh, Ebony, what's best for eczema relief? I think it depends on how bad the eczema is, where it is also. So we can use anything from like oral steroids if it's super bad, to topical steroids, to other creams as well, moisturizers, you name it. So I think it depends on where it is, how bad it is, what you tried before. Okay. Glam nails, how do I feel about B1 vitamins? For what? Like what would you be using the B1 vitamin for? This is the thing, most vitamins, you guys have seen my videos, like check out, I'm gonna actually make a, a vitamin playlist. I have a video, I have a playlist on fibromyalgia, a playlist on high blood pressure, ways to manage it, because I have a lot of videos on them. I'm gonna compile my vitamin and supplement videos to make a playlist. I literally have a video about B1, because a lot of people have said B1 can help get rid of mosquito bites, which we don't have a lot of evidence that says it does. But this is the thing, most, most, I would say, people probably don't need specific vitamins. So I think it just depends on, you know, I was, again, I'm asking, like, why would you want to take it? Most people who eat a healthy diet eat most things, you know, blah, 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 their stomach works because that's where we absorb vitamins. Most people don't need, like, specific, specific vitamins. Some do. And, like, whether they need B12, they might need vitamin D. I'm on vitamin D. So it's not that no one needs it, but you've got to be specific about this and don't just guess, Right. Um, can B12 give migraines? Not really sure. Um, are there drugs that can help with menopausal weight loss? Keyshawn. The issue, the, the key is weight loss. So are there drugs that help with weight loss? Absolutely. You've probably heard of the GLP-1s. 
Ozempic and things like that. And then there are other oral medications, right? There's fentramine and other things. So uh, there are medications that help with weight loss. I mean, it's, you know, you don't need anything special because it's menopausal weight loss, okay? Um, choose one, Mu Dang the hippo or Pesto the penguin. Am I bad because I don't know who they are? Somebody tell me who they are. Oh, and how can I get rid of black spots on your face? Depends on what those black spots are. I'm not sure what they are. Let me scroll down. What's the best natural remedy for high blood pressure? So this is the thing. Some people will have high blood pressure no matter what they do because it's genetic. But lifestyle things that make the best ways to keep your blood pressure down that in terms of what you can control, because you can't control everything. Some people have such a strong family history that they're going to have high blood pressure no matter what. But keeping a healthy weight, exercising, eating a low salt diet, um, um, you know, uh, da, 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 getting, you know, minimizing stress, all those things will help low blood pressure, lower blood pressure. But once again, don't argue or fight your doctor. This is my opinion. If your doctor wants you to be on medication, because some people, even when they do all these things, can't bring their, their blood pressure down. I do have videos on the foods that can um, uh, help that are best to lower blood pressure. But again, sometimes that's not enough for people. All right, you then. Let's see here. What else we got? Is difficulty swallowing related to sleep apnea? Don't know. If you have difficulty swallowing, you always got to see a doctor, though, because that's never normal. Glam, you're asking about B B1 versus B12. Again, for what? Like, B B1 versus B12 for what? And I don't even ne normally recommend vitamins unless someone needs them, okay? Remember, if you're not deficient in a vitamin, taking it is not necessarily going to do something magical. Um, after having a total hysterectomy, do you have to get a yearly checkup with the GYN? What I would do is go to your GYN and see what they say. Because some people still, like, you know, for other reasons, need to be seeing a GYN. So I always say it's important to go for your yearly checkup. Let your GYN tell you that they don't need to see you anymore. Um, Tom, you were gonna ride your mountain bike. You'll, you'll watch me instead. Oh my God, you're so sweet. Thank you. Maybe you can watch me and ride your mountain bike. Joyce, you have an appointment November 7th. You're gonna find an earlier appointment. Sounds like a good idea. Okay. Dr. Jen, is the CDC recommending the respiratory virus vaccine as well as flu and COVID? Yes. Bernice King, yeah, the RSV vaccine. I have a video on it, but I have to update it because the guidelines for who should get that vaccine have changed. Now the guidelines, I believe, is 75. And then, here, let me just look at the guidelines while I'm on with you. This is just something I, the, so sometimes guidelines change for who should get vaccines. And this happened with the RSV vaccine, vaccine guidelines, recommendations. Um, so when it first came out, they were saying that people 16 and above should get it. Now, here it is, it's 75 and older and adults 60 to 74 who have, uh, increased risk of severe RSV. So like if you have heart, lung disease, weakened immune system, diabetes, etc., then you qualify for it, okay? So I need to update a video on that. Okay. Oh, Austin, you like the content about ga gaslighting by doctors? I'm really glad. I'm, um, I will do some content on vitiligo. I just haven't gotten around to doing that yet, but I'm sorry that you've been gaslit. A lot of people have been gaslit. Hey, Florence. Hello. It's good to see you. Um, all right. Uh, how to improve fatigue and low energy. You're going to hear me say this again. First of all, make sure you understand if there's a reversible cause of your fatigue and low energy. Some people have a thyroid problem. Some people have anemia. Some people don't have sleep apnea, right? So, so if I, if I sound like a broken record, if you have fatigue and low energy, I know people try to reach for something to fix it. The first thing you should reach for is an appointment to try to make sure there's not a reason for it that you can fix, okay? That's my suggestion because a lot of people have many of those conditions I just mentioned. Some people have a B12 deficiency, other things, and when they fix that, their fatigue gets better. Some people are depressed. Depression can cause fatigue and low energy, okay? Um, do people with narcissistic personality disorder realize that they have this? Sophia, it's a great question. Um, I don't think they always do. No, I don't think they always do. Uh, Latanya, is there a cure for sleep apnea? Yeah, there's a treatment for it, okay? And that is CPAP, continuous positive airway pressure. And then some people, let me plug in my phone. Oh crap, I gotta get that charger. Some people are able to, um, 
get rid of their sleep apnea by losing weight and other things. Not everybody can. Some people who are, are very small in size still have sleep apnea. I'm gonna open the curtains. Still have sleep apnea and you know, it's just how they're built. But some people, when they lose weight, uh, their sleep apnea goes away, okay? So that's something to keep in mind as well. But yeah, there is a treatment, which is continuous positive airway pressure, that's CPAP, the CPAP machine. If your doctor has recommended, let me just plug this in. If your doctor has recommended you take a, or use a CPAP, please use it. I know that it may not feel like fun. I'm telling you, you're gonna feel like magic. You're gonna feel like new money when you use it. You're gonna feel so much better after using it. Not only that, um, sleep apnea that is not treated can increase your risk of heart failure, um, high blood pressure, and so many other things. So sleep apnea, you don't wanna just like let that go without treating it, okay? 46 year old black male here, should I schedule a colonoscopy now or wait till 50? Everyone should be getting a colonoscopy at the age of 45 unless you have a family history or you have an underlying medical condition that requires you to get it sooner. The age is no longer 50. It's 45 for the, for the average risk person. Remember, if you've had colon cancer, you have colon polyps, you have ulcerative colitis or other bowel disease, you have a family history of colon cancer, you should be getting it sooner than 45. Average risk is 45. Okay, Glenwood Hayward, $1 or $100? Well, always $100. All right, um, and by the way, thank you guys for sending all the, the hearts and the stars and the super chats and the super stickers. You guys are really sweet. Um, let's see here, Austin, what's my favorite color of roses? Oh, that's a really interesting question. Um, I think red roses are beautiful. But you know what my favorite, um, uh, my favorite flower are tulips though. They're just happy flowers, so. Uh, let's see here, uh, Vivian, what would be the possible cause for burning sensation below the knee? You might have, um, uh, um, neuropathy, you could have um, like a nerve issue, there could be something else going on, it could be a rash. Um, I'm sure you've looked to see it's not a rash, but yeah, talk to your doctor about this because there could be issues with your nerves down there, okay? So my friends, all right, so I wanna know if you like these Ask Me Anythings, if you want me to do more, if they're, let me know also right now, like right now, I'll just, I'll hang on. Um, let me know what topics you want me to cover. Some of you have mentioned them that I have not covered already, vitiligo and a few others you guys have mentioned. Let me know what you think, if I should do more of these, um, you know, if, if it's helpful, if it's not. Um, do me a solid, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, click the like button, the like buttons help. Um, and make sure you keep up with the videos every day. I pretty much post new videos every day about different health topics, really just trying to keep you healthy. Um, and uh, yeah, so, Anyway, you guys are amazing. Thank you. Oh, I'm reading now. Okay, so I'm gonna read your comments. A day of silence, you do like this. Do you love the lives? Life on learner, you love the lives. Okay. All right, so, um, all right, so keep, keep letting me know. And if there's, if, if there's something different that I should do with these lives, like if you want it a different format, a different way, let me know um, because I just, I really wanna create something that's gonna be actually useful and helpful for you guys, okay? Um, I love y'all. Thank you guys for being with me. Okay. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.